Hello, everyone. I'm Ed Zimbardi. I'm excited that you're here. Happy New Year, everyone. It is January 2nd, January 3rd in Australia already. And we're ready to kick this year off and get started. One question I want to ask you before we get started, think about this. As Kenny and I, my guest, talk in the next 30 minutes, and that is, what if this were to work? Just think about that. If 2017 wasn't what you were looking for, then 2018 can be. So today, I want to share with you a young man based on just meeting him now live face to face. I could tell he's a young man younger than me. He doesn't have the gray hairs like I do. And this is Kenny Britt. Kenny, welcome to our call. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. And you'll have to... Uh... You have to tune out my dogs in the back. Whenever I do Facebook Lives or anything, that's when they decide to start wrestling and make noise. <laughs> it's like they have radar on tracking. <laughs> yeah, if, if I'm not doing Facebook Live, they're just sleeping on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Well, I work from home too, have for about 20 years now. I've been free, and uh, my, my kids are home from uh, holiday break, and my oldest is here from college. So, hey, cool. I understand. We always have background noise. It's not perfect condition, so it's all good, man. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, a little bit about your background, and also a little bit about when you got started with iMarkets Live. Uh, what made you decide to get involved with iMarkets Live, and how are things are going for you? Kind of give us a little overview, and then we'll okay. Some yeah, absolutely. So let's uh, let's rewind back to 2012, um, even younger, <laughs> and uh, broke as a joke. Actually, I, I was doing really bad in life. I, you know, I couldn't even afford to put gas in my car. That's how broke I was. Had to borrow money to get an engagement ring for my wife. Uh, so I, I was at my all time low. And it was in those moments that I knew that I needed to change. Something had to change because uh, day by day, nothing was changing unless I was going to do something. It's not just handed to you. Uh, a few years later, I read a really cool book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. If, if you've ever read that book, you know what I'm talking about. It teaches you to become a business owner or an investor, because that's where all the wealth is. So uh, I knew what I had to do. I wanted to get into investing, just wasn't sure how to. And honestly, I didn't have any money anyways. So my goal was figure out a way to make money quick. Got into sales, crushed it in sales. Uh, in fact, I started a really good sales job at the end of 2016 and uh, carried it over into 2017. I was making six figures in that job. Uh, but my biggest problem was that it wasn't money anymore. It was time. I literally had no time to do anything. I'm winning all these vacations, prizes, but I'm sitting at a desk all day while my wife's at home going on these vacations. <laughs> it's bad to say, but going on these vacations by herself. And so I wanted to make a change, but I, I just kind of thought again, man, investing, what am I going to do? Uh, so I started looking into Forex actually at the beginning of 2017, but it was really complicated and I wasn't really sure how I was going to make it happen. So I kind of gave up for a while. Um, but then when I was introduced to iMarkets Live, I found that it was really made easy. And there's three things that I, I think iMarkets Live does really well. Uh, one is they teach you how to trade. Two is they uh, help you trade. So there's tools and software that help you trade. And three, there's tools that I'll actually do in a sense, the trading for you. And so I decided I was going to go ahead and jump in in that. Uh, I have actually started, I want to say it was about two and a half months ago. It was in kind of the beginning of October when I decided to jump in and learn about this. And uh, within about a month and a half being into it, I realized, hey, there's a lot of money in this market. In fact, one day I went to work and just crushed it, had an awesome day in sales. And I, I checked my, uh, my smartphone and I was like, holy cow, I made more money trading today than I did at my – nine to five job. And that's kind of what did it for me is like, Hey, there's a lot of money in this market. And I spent like literally five minutes on my phone trading and eight and a half hours selling. And there's, I made more on trading. So I was like, you know what? Talk to my wife. We decided, Hey, you know, since you're making about the same money you're making at your sales job, why don't you just quit? And so I've been able to retire at 25, uh, live an amazing life. I don't know if you follow me. If you do, you see all the things that we post about, and it's just been incredible. And a lot of it is due to the trading, but a lot of it's also due to sharing it with others. Uh, one of the things that we found a lot of joy in is being able to empower other people to have similar success. 
In fact, I have a good friend that worked with me at my last job that started trading with me. And he started in November. And to this date, he has multiplied his uh, initial balance from 1,000 to 16,000 trading cryptocurrency, which is a hot topic right now. And of course, trading results are not guaranteed, but the fact that it's possible, that's all I needed. I just needed the possibility of incre incredible money. And then now I just need to go sharpen my skills. Absolutely. That's the key is sharpening the skill <laughs> because we have products with iMarkets Live for a person who's brand new, never traded before, has intermediate skills, maybe has traded for a little while, tried a few different services, maybe uh, went through some education, maybe lost some money, maybe a little bit of money, made it a little bit of money. And even the pro traders, I've met several pro traders that are crushing it with iMarkets Live. So no matter what your skill level is, as Kenny just shared with you, we have the education, the resources and tools for just $235 for your first full month, then $185 each month thereafter. Currently, you get access to seven products. There's a, an eighth product was just added recently. That's an additional $15 a month. That's the web analyzer. And as Kenny just mentioned, cryptocurrency is hot right now. And iMarkets Live has a whole suite of products coming out from education to live educators, even a swipe trades currency app. And the web analyzer will have an additional component of cryptocurrency. So lots of money being made. As Kenny mentioned, we always mention our FTC disclaimer. Previous profits don't guarantee future profits or results. However, one thing we can guarantee is if you don't get started, it's going to be real difficult to earn any money at all. So rather than sitting on the sidelines, at least get in. So Kenny, what do you recommend to a brand new person? Do you recommend they get started using a demo account or jump in with a live account or maybe a mix demo on some of the products, live on some of the products just to get started? Because a lot of people have a little fear of that $185 a month, you know, that, that monthly payment. And I know it's a mindset thing and I'm sure being yeah. around Brandon, you know, you're big into mindset too. So what do you <laughs> say to that brand new person who's thinking that? Yeah. So there's two things. So I, I get asked the question all the time, is the subscription fee worth it? Like is, can I make my money back within a month? Uh, and, and really, I mean, yes, people have made their money back in a month. They've made more than that. I've made more in a day than I've made in a week at my sales job. Uh, but, you know, it's not guaranteed, right? And I, I learned how to do it to get there. I never recommend someone starts off with real money just to start because you don't know what's going to happen. Um, you don't know what's happening yet unless you've done day trading before. So you always need to start with a demo account. And I treat it initially as an investment in education, not an investment to make money, but as investment in education. If you've ever gone to school, college, I, I'm pretty confident that you paid more than $185. Like I'm, I'm pretty confident about that. I know here in, uh, in Salt Lake or Utah, you, know, you could pay upwards of 2,700 or more a, a semester. And so for me, when I initially got started, I was like, okay, I'm investing in my education which this is dirt cheap compared to all the other Forex education programs out there. And so what I recommend to anybody who starts is uh, in your first week of trading, definitely use a demo account. In fact, in your first week, what I want you to do is I want you to test out some of our tools. So we've got something called the Mirror Trader, which is basically like we got the professionals trading for you. Like here's their account. They send a signal to your account. Your, your account copies it and does the same exact trade. You don't even need to know what's happening and it's happening for you. Uh, so I recommend you start off testing that out in your first week while learning the education. After week one is complete, you're going to have something pretty powerful. You're going to have a record of everything that happened each day with the mirror trader. And you're going to be able to see, did I make money or did I lose money? You know, one week is not enough to really say what it's going to look like in the future, but it should give you some results. And a lot of times people are going to have really good positive results. And if you like what you saw during your first week, I have no problem with people taking it to a live account. Go ahead, set up a real account, use the same mirror trader, expect the same type of thing to happen. Um, don't expect to be like getting rich quick, like expect similar results with proper risk management, which you'll learn in the education that way is 
given. And so that's why I recommend your first week. And then I actually decided in week two, that's when I want you to start getting to things like swipe trades, learning how to input data. Because when you very first start off, you don't know how to create a trade. You need to learn a little bit about that. And so in week two, you're doing swipe trades, but I want you to practice that on a demo account because even though the answers are given to you in kind of like a text telling you what to do, if you don't know what you're doing, you still might, you might mess it up. <laughs> so I recommend you still get a little bit of education, sure. demo it before you get in with real money. Um, in an ideal world, I would say demo everything for an entire month. Get, get some knowledge under your belt. In, in a month, you kind of, you'll crash and burn occasionally, but you'll see the possibilities of what you can actually do with this trading. Uh, after a month, go ahead and get started for real and just take it slow. But if you are eager, like I was eager, and I've had a lot of other people be eager just to go ahead and dive into the market, at least demo things before you test it out with real money. Yeah, I agree. And, and if somebody is solid with their finances at this moment and don't necessarily need this opportunity, but they want to learn a new skill. I would even push it further. Go two months demoing every product, even three months, because within 90 days, you know, which is almost like a semester of school, you could, if you had that kind of mindset, right, Kenny, if, if you had that mindset, I'm going to go to one semester of IML school and demo all the products, get full use of them, plus get watch all the academy videos, not once, but multiple times. And then another product, the IML TV, where you have 70 plus hours of live education, interaction with educators. Imagine like they're the professors and getting that much time for 90 days every week. You could really crush it after 90 days. And what is your investment? $235 the first month, $185 for two additional months. That's a killer for a PhD in trading, right? Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. So this is uh, this is a skill that can pay you just so much money. Like our CEO uh, has made, and this is kind of what what he's disclosed <laughs> is over at least over eighty million dollars trading. And so I don't know what what career you can go jump into getting a degree from a college and spend thousands and thousands of dollars on getting that degree that you can just immediately start making that kind of money. I, I can't think of anything that would do that. And so I think you're really paying some of the best education you can get and learning a skill that will pay you no matter if the economy is booming or busting. Because remember, we can we can trade like the market looks like this. It goes up and down. And as the economy is going up and values of currencies are going up, we're making money. If it goes down, we're making money. And a really good example of that, if you if you follow cryptocurrency at all, this may be too advanced, but if you follow cryptocurrency at all, you realize that last week there was a currency that just shot through the roof and a lot of people made money but at the same time bitcoin actually dropped tremendously like it hit 20,000 per coin but then dropped to like 11,000 per coin now anybody who was buying and holding is probably scared right now <laughs> wondering if they're going to lose all their money but traders like us we could have profited off of it falling down and made money absolutely absolutely incredible well, let me switch gears for just a minute, Kenny, while we have you in the next few minutes. I've got some questions that have come in. I want to run by you since you are doing some trading. And again, I don't know uh, ultimately what your skill level is. If you, if you don't have the answer, that's cool. I'll do my best to answer it too because I'm only trading now for like six months. <laughs> so we're kind of both new to this. So here's a question that says, uh, when you say the average amount of pips for you know a month, you know how IML talks about they have some goals, for instance, swipe trades, the, the, that mm -hmm. division of traders, their goal is 2,000 pips per month. So okay. when we talk about the average amount of pips per month, is that average or just the winning trades? Uh, it's, is, it, is it really just truly copy and paste or will we have to add and subtract and scale in and out of trades? No, so that, that average to my understanding and my experience is actually calculating in the losses and the profits. So you could have very well profited 5,000 pips, but because you lost 3,000, you ended at 2,000. That's my understanding and my uh, results have kind of backed that, my own trades. Um, hopefully that answers the question. Yep, it does. I agree. So if, if IML uh, puts out, hey, Swipe Trades earned 2,000 pips for the month, we may have 
they may have lost a thousand. So that means there was 3000 pips, but they lost a thousand. The net result of profit was to the positive 2000 pips, right? That's how you understand it as well. Yep. Awesome. All right. So we've got another question here. There was a, I don't know if you heard about this. Uh, there was a guy that turned a thousand dollars into 50,000 in approximately five months. He practiced for 60 days. Then he went live. Um, and he adjusted his lot sizes along the way, you know, as the account grew. Yep. What, what it, what is a type of mar marginal where he took the average of the win rate to swipe trades and adjusted based on current principle? Well, this is a long one. Hold on, bear with me. I'm just trying to make, I'm just reading it for the first time. The average rate uh, adjustment, current principle, whether he was down or up in a week. Um, can second part, well, let's do the first part of the question. Kind of a little confusing, but yeah. what do you think of that? Yeah, so if you've heard of the compound effect, I think this is a good example of that. So maybe he started at $1,000, but if he kept using the same risk level he was doing every day, it's really unlikely that he would have turned it into 50 grand. So what he more than likely did is as his account grew, let's say he was willing to do 2% risk per trade. Well, as his account grew from 1,000 to 5,000 to 10,000, that risk level went up. Well, not the risk percentage, but the amount of money being risked. And so he's able to grow at an expedited rate. And so that's just the compound effect at work. Yep. And the second part of that question is, can someone on, on the team teach me a private atmosphere, uh, you know, where you can learn well in the group? So what do you say to somebody that's looking for you know, private one-on-one -on -one mentorship versus what we have with IML? So it just depends where you're located. You know, if you're here in Utah where I'm at, Brandon Boyd's at, and a lot of our amazing traders, you know, we've got some awesome guys out here, then we love collaboration. I mean, from one trader to another, if you've got awesome tips, I'm definitely going to look into it, right? So if you're in an area that has people who are in iMarkets Live, usually there's uh, Telegram chats that you can get on, and uh, usually the person who introduced you to our markets live will share that with you uh, you can just chat with them and do private groups um, but that that's the main thing is try to look for local people if, if you if there aren't any local people the best thing you can do is get on like zoom meetings you know do trainings do the live IML TV uh, even though you're not there in person the concept is still going to be the same you're, you're asking questions and getting answers to your questions on trading and so we, we do that, I think it's like, well, over 75 hours of IML TV per week. Right. It's amazing. So as a recap, you know, what we do, no matter who you decide to enroll with, is we look for people in your local area that we can connect you with if you do want some one-on-one -on -one time or meetups type of thing. But with today's technology, as Kenny said, with a Zoom chat right here, it's the same as if... Kenny and I are in the same location because we're on video chat. We can share each other's screen. We can collaborate. So you don't have to necessarily get in your car, drive to a local Starbucks. You know, that all takes time. Uh, doing it this way is, is so much easier and you can do it with anyone around the world. So you do have the educators, as Kenny said, too. You could jump on one of those live sessions and ask questions and they'll answer them. Uh, I haven't heard any chat amongst all the different IML groups where an educator wouldn't answer questions within uh, the live sessions. Have you? No. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So let's see. The final uh, part here is he wants to get his phone ready. Can I do mirror trader and swipe trades on the same account, you know, at the same time uh, or, do you have to separate those accounts into separate trading accounts? What do you usually tell people? Well, the first part of the question I'd like to address is, can you help me get ready for that and sign up? I'm going to show you really quick an app that I use. Maybe, I don't know if you can see this or not. It's the iMarkets Live app. If you go ahead and click on that, iMarkets Live, go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and download this for Android or iPhone. And then you click on Products. And what you're going to see is a list of our products. So you're going to see uh, Fusion Trader, FX Signals Live. Those are both mirror traders and then swipe trades. In order to get these set up, literally all you have to do is like for swipe trades, click on it. 
and there's going to be videos on how to set it up, a tutorial. Uh, I'm pretty sure Brandon Boyd built all these videos. So literally just go into the app. It has the videos for you. It's going to teach you how to set everything up. And uh, that that's the first part to your question. And then as far as doing the mirror trader and swipe trades on the same account, absolutely. Like that's what I did that helped me get out of my job is I started doing the mirror trading and swipe trades. And the mirror trades, you don't even have to touch it. So that's nice. You just leave that alone. And then the swipe trades, you just keep an eye on those as they go. Uh, but I had one day where I had amazing success with swipe trades because I, you know, sometimes they have different uh, take profit points where like, hey, you get in the trade here. Let's say it's a sell. You can you can take your money out here, here or here. And so sometimes what I do is as I'm watching the market go down, I'll like maybe add a second order on as it's going down to take profit at the next location uh, to make money. But at the end of the day, there's one rule that you got to live by, and that's by uh, using proper risk. So if you've got a mirror trader working your account and you're also doing swipe trades, you need to make sure you're not over leveraging your money. You don't want to have too many trades going at once. So you need to take into account if you're using the Fusion Trader, more trades are going to come out per day. If you're using FX Signals Live, there'll be less. And then just make sure as those swipe trades come through, you evaluate your account before you take one. Because it may be an awesome trade, but if your account's already over leveraged, you need to just uh, take a break for a minute. But th these are things, these terms we're using, leveraging, uh, these are things that you're going to learn through the IML Academy. So I don't want you to get overwhelmed or think, oh, man, this is over my head. This is all stuff you'll learn within, you know, your first week or two. Absolutely. Thanks for answering that question. That was a good one. So what do you say to a, uh, a brand new person who's kind of on the fence, maybe – They've been checking out. We have lots of videos inside our customer results group. It's our prospecting group to get people introduced to IML, post testimonials. We do these interviews. Brandon's done lots of interviews here with me. Um, and, you, you know, it's a new year. The excuse of the holidays, you know, I can't get started until after the holidays. Yeah. What do you say now that it's January 2nd to somebody that's on the fence, maybe has a little bit of fear, mindset, yeah. you know, of losing money? Is it really going to work for me? Yep. What do you tell people that you are introducing to iMarkets Live? Well, we're, my wife and I were big on New Year's resolutions. And uh, I guess one question I posed, posed to you is how did 2017 go? Like, did you, did you get what you wanted out of the year? Or were you hoping for more? And so if, like, like I was saying, back in 2012, I was broke as a joke and I had no money to even put gas in my car. I knew something had to change and it was me. I needed to change. I needed to go seek opportunities and you fast forward to today, you know, I'm making six figure income. Like that wasn't just given to me. I had to take a risk. I had to fight for it and I obtained it. So for those who are skeptical, I always, you know, when it comes down to the investment, like I said, I always think of it first as an investment in education. Be willing to go out there and learn something. Maybe you jump in, you spend the 235 and you don't make any money trading, but you learn a heck of a lot of information about day trading that gets you to the next level when you are ready to take it seriously. Maybe you do make money, which is enough to pay for the membership. You know, nothing is guaranteed, but for those who are sitting on the fence, a lot of times they stay there and nothing changes in their life. No, no, no apparent change happens. So what I recommend is take a chance on iMarkets Live, learn the education, use the tools. We have way too many people winning, way too many people winning for this to be, you know, for it not to work. Um, but the other thing is this is a real market. This isn't something that iMarkets Live created. The foreign exchange has been around for a long time and will continue to be around for much longer. And if you've ever looked into Forex education before, it is not cheap. Usually you're looking anywhere between $5,000 to $50,000 just to get the education to get started. That does not include your investment into it to actually trade. And so that's one of the other things that actually drove me towards iMarkets Live is this is dirt cheap compared to everything else. So that, that's why I recommend just 2018. For me, I want this to be a year of wealth and abundance, uh, not just of money, but of friendships, uh, time freedom. And so if 2017 wasn't what you wanted, make 2018 what you do want. And sometimes you got to just take that leap. I agree. Uh, too many people sit on the fence too long if they don't. If they didn't get the results they wanted in 2017, well, 
when you change your mind, you change your life. So you can't continue to do the same things over and over again. We know what that is. Insanity, right? Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk real quick as we wrap this up in the next few minutes about mindset. To you, what is mindset all about and how it applies with iMarkets Live and trading? So with mindset and trading, it, it, it's just so different compared to a lot of other things I've ever done. Because sometimes in trading, it will look like you're losing. But in reality, if you wait, you could be winning. And so that, that's a big thing is just the number one thing you will learn as a trader is patience. Uh, you need to just be patient with the market and set proper stop loss and take profits. But I can't tell you how many times I let my emotions get the better of me. And I saw a trade was going negative. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to cut ties. I'll, I'll just close it out take my loss and be done. And I closed it out early, but then five, 10, 15 hour later, uh, the market went straight back up <laughs> and I would have made really good profits. So that's one of the biggest things that I've been learning is you just need to be patient with the market. You, uh, you want the market, to, as one of my friends says, bend to your will, don't bend to its will. And so you just need patience in the market. And with the education that you'll learn, you'll start to kind of evaluate and see where you need to take out money as far as far as cut your losses. But um, that's the number one thing I'd say is patience in the market. Uh, number two is uh, don't get greedy. <laughs> Too many times people have been burned because they, they have like maybe a really good take profit. You know, the markets hit a spot where you could take out a decent amount of money in, in the profit. But you're like, you know what? I want it to keep going. And then it reverses back on you uh, or you uh, you don't scale your risk properly. I know that's exciting to see, hey, someone took a thousand dollars and turned into fifty thousand dollars. Instead of do that in six months, I want to do that in three months or two months or one week. And so I've seen a lot of people get carried away with their risk management and they'll bet way too much money. In fact, I have an awesome example uh, of somebody who made in one day from a five thousand dollar account. They made six thousand dollars in one day. And they were using crazy risk and the next day they lost it all. <laughs> so, it, you know, it's just it's important to properly use risk management, not get carried away. Don't get greedy. Be OK with small margins, because if you do the math and I've, I've done the math multiple times, you know, even just making, let's say, 250 pips in the profit per week, you can take a thousand dollars. And let's say you traded 260 days, you could take a thousand dollars and turn it into a little over half a million by scaling your risk at 2%. And that, I mean, it's not guaranteed you'll get 250 pips, but you can see like initially as you watch the graph, your profits per day are pretty small, but as they compound over time, it grows to be something pretty incredible. And so you just need to use proper risk and don't get greedy. Um, that would be the second thing I would recommend. And the third thing is just don't give up, persevere. Too many people get into something new they try it out for a week, a month, and they don't see the results they were hoping for. Like they see someone making a crazy amount of money and they expect the same thing to happen to them. Well, honest truth is that, you know, unless you've done trading before, it, you're not necessarily going to have those crazy results. So be diligent. Keep learning. Don't, don't use someone else's results and compare yourself to them and expect to have the same success or even the same failures. You need to go out there and just learn and persevere. And if you do that, you'll start to learn little nuggets of knowledge here and there that will help you become better and better. And uh, for some, they're going to be extremely successful right away. For others, it takes time. So just hang in there. Keep learning. And uh, going back to what I keep saying is use this as an opportunity for learning. You know, you're investing in your education. And, yeah, you can make some money along the way. But overall, I think it's an investment in the education initially. And then we'll see where it goes from there. I agree a thousand percent. It's really about being consistent over the course of time, being persistent and working through some of the obstacles of those losing days because it's going to happen. Never going to have winning days every single day. You're going to take some losses and don't get emotionally attached to the outcome on a trade by trade basis, a day by day and week by week basis. Look at the big picture. Give yourself a good solid 90 days with IML and then reevaluate because no matter where you're at, Kenny, if you look at day one on the job that you started, you didn't know as much as you know today on day whatever. If you've been there six months, a year, five years at your current 
you know, six figure job, you just didn't know as much. So your confidence level increased over that period of time, right? Absolutely. And that's the key here. So the, the, the last final point I want to bring up here before we let Kenna go is support. We offer a tremendous amount of support. We've got a community of customers who are serious about giving back. They love to share their strategies. They love to help mentor people. They don't charge for their time. They just want to see other people win because Christopher Terry has a mission over the next three years to bring on a million customers and really impact people's lives financially, set them free. Myself personally, I'm looking this year along with my wife uh, for our team to impact a hundred people's lives and set them free financially. I know last year, Brandon Boyd, who's a mentor for both Kenny and I and part of our, our leadership here, has been involved about 24 months and just these past 12 months had over 70 people that is directly linked through him to be set free financially through either trading, utilizing education resources and tools of iMarkets Live or building a network. So with that, I want to encourage you to get back to the person that invited you here to watch this video inside the group. Ask them for their unique customer enrollment link, then get started. We've got a step-by-step -step process to walk you through the, uh, the setup process and get on board to do either a demo or live or a mix of both. And we'll get you going immediately. Now that it's January 2nd, it's time to make 2008 your best year ever. So with that, Kenny, I really appreciate you stepping up and uh, being part of this interview. I'm looking forward to seeing you out in Vegas. Will you be there? I will. I've already bought my tickets. <laughs> awesome, man. I will, too. I look forward to breaking some bread with you, get some pictures as well. So, uh, guys, we do have an annual event that's kicking off in March. It is our first international convention. Our expectation is to have anywhere from 5,000 and upwards of 10,000 people at the Rio in March. So if you're just checking us out, come on, give us 90 days and make part of that 90 days. Come on out and meet us face to face along with Christopher Terry, the CEO and the leadership with uh, Alex and Ivan and so many others. So Kenny, thanks so much for being part of our interview today. Uh, I'd love to have you back at some point in time in the future. Would you do that? Absolutely. Thank you for having me on, Ed, and I'd, it'd be a pleasure to return. Awesome. All right, everyone. Thanks, Kenny. Talk to you soon. You're welcome. Take care, all. Bye-bye.